so quiet. It's so early and so quiet. But the weather is calm. Can you hear that? That's just the sound of the uh, lake. Okay, we've just been outside. The, as you can tell by the water, it's very, very calm. It's a nice sound. You can clearly see uh, Buffalo over there. And to the other side of us, you can clearly see the lighthouse. The lighthouse is flashing here. It's quite nice. Uh, Point Abano Lighthouse. Uh, the moon is out, broken skies. And uh, just have a quick look at the weather network's forecast. It's now 4 a.m. And uh, the temperature in my vehicle is showing 5 degrees, uh, but on the uh, weather network, mind you, I'm right by the water, uh, but Crystal Beach is now showing 9, so we've just actually gone up a little bit. Uh, if you look at the hourly temperatures, it's now showing that the uh, winds are going to start picking up very, very quickly. So this is going to be a very, very quick change here in this area. The lake is very calm right now, but it's going to change very, very quickly. So for the next two or three hours, you can see uh, one-on-one uh, winds. I am hearing at Port um, Colborne could be a lot higher than that. Uh, if you look at the uh, radar map, I'm just going to put it, that here as well. Uh, the radar map quite clearly showing the little uh, break we're in right now in this storm. And uh, further back, it looks like a, a line of heavier rain maybe some thunderstorms embedded in that and the winds are now starting to pick up and they're now blowing uh, southwesterly maybe west southwesterly so uh, the lake is going to change very very quickly in the next hour i'd imagine and uh, this is going to deteriorate uh, very quickly so um, we'll keep an eye on it and hopefully we'll get a good video All right, the winds are just picked up down here. I'm just down at Crystal Beach <coughs> in the new area they've done. And I'm just gonna look over the lake because I just, I did just see some uh, lightning. So I'm gonna see if we can catch it again. But the winds are really starting to pick up. I can hear the water starting to change. So uh, let's see if we can see the lightning over uh, Buffalo Way. Now this is how you tell the uh, weather when you're in Crystal Beach. Check this out. Okay, that really changed really quick here. That wind's really, really gusty. It's like 80 kilometers an hour now. Wow, I'm really getting it too. Whoa, holy shit. Wow, okay, that's enough because that's really, really cold. Wow, that really, really just changed. It's uh, 10 to five. And an hour ago, it was really, really calm. And now the winds are gusting 80 kilometers an hour really, really quickly. And, uh, I'm gonna put my waterproofs on. Oh, I took my breath away. It was really, really cold that water coming off the lake. Whew. Just gonna get a reading of uh, how windy it is out there right now. Uh. Is that gonna focus? 78.1. Wow, two degrees, it's getting cold. Uh, we're touching 92 now on the wind. Uh, just remembered, <laughs> I actually got my Wellingtons with me today. So I just put them on, because uh, my feet got a little wet there. So, oh, there's a big wave. So, uh, wellies are on, so my feet are gonna be dry for the rest of the day. So I'm gonna go back out there shortly. Standing in Point Abano Road South, and the road is completely washed out, as you can see. Um, it's up to <laughs> the water's about. I'm having about a foot and a half of water right here. I'm wearing wellies, 
uh, rubbers, as you would call them here in Canada. So I'm doing all right. But the water's rising very, very quickly. So I'm going to get out of the way and I need to reverse my truck back. And it's still dark here, so this should be fun. This was where I was parked, literally just a minute ago. I just had to move my truck back, and just as well I did, because now the place is covered in rocks. Literally, I was just here. So this is how quick the uh, water's changing here. Tell you what, no one can drive down here, so I'm gonna move these bollards, these pylons, whatever you wanna call them, and try and hopefully stop people from driving down here. There you go, Ford Erie. Town of Ford Erie, did the job for you. I closed the road. Right, I'm gonna one more quick check down at the Palmwood and Crystal Beach. Then we're gonna have a quick ride down to uh, Fort Erie. You see what we can see. You can see in front of us there's water coming over the road in a lot of places now. So uh, gonna get out of here. back down to Fort Erie and uh, it's no way near as bad as it was at Halloween uh, but daybreak is just breaking right now and as you can see I'm going to show you around very quickly what it's like here um, so let's have a quick look uh, apparently Niagara Parks wasn't happy with me being down here um, even though the road's not closed, uh, they told me to move my vehicle. But he must be really concerned about my safety. Oh well, I'll get out of the way, keep him happy. Standing on the uh, Lakeshore Road at the far end of uh, Fort Erie here, going towards Waverley. It uh, looks like a little while ago the water was way up here. You see by the debris in the road. I'll just give you a closer look at that.
All right, getting out of here. All right, I decided to come back through the woods instead of that way by the uh, shoreline because it's too dangerous. The water's really crashing up. And I don't want to slip and end up being a casualty of my own mistake. But then again, I'm in the woods and I just realized <laughs> I'm surrounded by dead, dead and fallen trees. So uh, I best get out of here before I get squashed to death by a falling tree. Halloween night uh, it was dark so uh, it's nice to be here in the daytime and see it completely flooded so I get to see what it's like uh, this time I'm halfway over there I had to drive through it mind you and we just saw another car come through that sound is me walking in the water by the way and that bit of footage I just showed you a minute ago of me driving through the water that was Shirley Shirley Avenue Shirley Road just here in the Thunder Bay area Bernard Beach. Well, what's left of it? So this is where we started the adventure. Uh, yesterday before the storm. Actually, there's more over there. <laughs> so uh, the water was way up here. that is it for this particular storm i'd like to thank you all for watching if you've liked the video please make sure you like the video and uh, if you haven't already done so please subscribe to the channel uh, the more likes and the more subscribers i get the most likely the more likely i'll get out more often and get more footage like this if you live in the niagara region please leave a comment below of good places to go during the storm and i'll try and get there during the next big windstorm and water surge and uh, try and get some good video footage uh, for the next video so in the meantime thanks for liking the video uh, thanks for watching and if you want to follow me on twitter please do i am at a brit overseas simple as that all right until next time thank you for watching uh, nigel's cheap vlogs this is niagara <laughs>